Hey guys, in this video, I'll guide you through how to open RAR files on Windows 11. Alright, so let's begin with the video. The first and easiest way to open a RAR file on Windows 11 is by using third-party software. To start, visit the 7-zip website on your browser to download the 7-zip software. Next, choose a version of the software based on your system architecture. For most users, the 64-bit version is the best choice. After downloading the setup file, run it to install 7-zip on your computer. Once you find your RAR file, double-click it to open it. You'll now be able to see the contents of the RAR file. You can either extract the files or drag and drop them to your desktop or another location of your choice. Alternatively, you can right-click the RAR file, select Show More Options from the Context menu and find the 7-zip section. Here, you'll see multiple options, select Open Archive if you want to view the contents before extracting them. If you want to make 7-zip the default software for opening RAR files, you can do so by double-clicking the RAR file, then clicking on More Apps. Since 7-zip might not be listed initially, you'll need to click on Look for another app on this PC. This will take you to the Program Files folder where you should find and access the 7-zip folder. Look for the executable file named 7ZFM and select it. From now on, RAR files will automatically open with 7-zip when you double-click them. Another useful method for opening RAR files is using online file converters. To do this, go to the Cloud Convert RAR to ZIP conversion webpage. I'll also provide the link in the description below. Click on Select File and locate your RAR file. Double-click it to upload and process it. This process might take some time, depending on your upload speed and the size of the RAR file. Once the conversion is complete, click the download button to download the zip file. After downloading, you can open the zip file like any other file. So that's basically how to open RAR files on Windows 11. So that's for this video. If you find it helpful, consider subscribing and giving this big thumbs up. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.